Hello, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you with another Legends of Runeterra deck guide. As of patch 1.6, Karma Ezreal has been seeing less and less play, but I suspect that within the future, not too long, it's going to become quite a popular deck again once people realize that it's still extremely powerful, and I can recommend to you that you climb with this deck if you like. Now, what's changed in terms of the cards here, and not a tremendous amount? I've done a couple of ex experimentations that I think will just fit fine. That is going to include Zornite Urchin, or Urchin, however you want to pronounce it. This card's just great. I mean, we don't typically run one drops in Karma Ezreal, so this could be a nice change of pace. It helps throughout the early game, and because of this, I've trimmed down Health Potion as we have more chump blockers for the early game. Now, as we're running Zornite Urchin as well, I have uh, bumped up the amount of chump bumps because this card was generally pretty good before with the puff caps, but now that we're running Zornite, I would like more fodder for discarding as well as rummage. Outside of that, I'm going to throw in one Yonia the Wind Chaser as another late game bomb and a big body because I'm trimming down Will of Ionia. Now, I'm still going to be using two copies of Will of Ionia in this list because it still goes good with Ezreal. It helps to level him up and buys a little bit of time. Outside of that, three Karmas, two, three Deep Meditation, uh, three Static Shock. Just reverting back here for a sec, three Karmas for Ladder is pretty good. Um, in tournament formats, you'll see players that will trim it down to two that's usually for tournament tournaments okay guys three karmas is fine it helps for ladder two denies i considered bumping this up to three i don't think deny is hitting as much targets as i would have hoped but still deny is going to be quite strong three as rules of course i'm going to be using two still tempest this is great for the early game uh, with eye of the dragon now we have more ways of interacting with the early game another reason why i've trimmed down the health potion as that kind of helps sustain you a little bit but now with more ways to activate Eye of the Dragon through Steel Tempest, uh, kind of thinning out your deck through Zornite, it won't be hard for you to get Eye of the Dragon online. It also helps you to draw into Eye of the Dragon as well. Three Mystic Shots is pretty much a staple, deal two damage to anything, good for the early game, good for the late game for attacking your opponent's face. Three Claws of the Dragon to help interact with the board early, great against mid range. 3 2 stat line is really good, sometimes it comes out at burst speed and throws your opponent off guard. Three Thermo Beams makes a lot of sense, as just the flexible removal, as always, fits into a lot of PNZ decks. And as I said, two Rummage for more card draw. That wraps up the list. Now, let's talk about the Mulligan. So in terms of the Mulligan, um, there's a lot of the ways you can tackle this. You can look for the Eye of the Dragon and keep some cheap spells alongside it. Keeping Zornite's pretty good all around. In some matchups, especially against Control, like maybe even the Mirror matchup, I probably wouldn't keep this. It sounds kind of weird, but um, because there's two ways of looking at it. You either draw through a deck really quickly, or you play super slow and just outvalue your opponent. Now, I think with Zornite though, it's always going to be a keep uh, in every aggro matchup. Same with Claws of the Dragon. I think these cards are going to help you interact with the board early. Definitely keep Eye of the Dragon almost every time against every matchup. It provides you a lot of value. Mystic Shot will help you against aggro decks too, so make sure to keep that. And Steel Tempest, as much as I have not experimented too much with this card, I think it would still be a good keep all around. Uh, don't keep Ezreal, it's not going to help you much. Unless you're going up against Aggro, then you can keep it alongside some early game, and don't be afraid to tackle the board with Ezreal and trade into stuff. Uh, Chump Bomb, uh, probably not the best keep. Probably keep it against mid-range if you're curving out. So if you find a decent curve, Chump Bomb will help you. Outside of that, probably don't keep any cards up this size. Don't keep Deny. Static Shock, don't keep any of these cards here. Pretty simple. As most uh, Mulligan guides I talk about, it's all about the curve, really. I think the exception would be going up against other Karma Ezreal decks or going up against some really late game control decks. At that point, cards like Claws of the Dragon, uh, Eye of the Dragon, probably aren't going to help you too much in the early game. Unless you're looking for chip damage, but it depends exactly which list. I think against um, Karma Ezreal, uh, maybe keeping Claws of the Dragon is okay to try and cheat it out. Outside of that, you probably wouldn't want to play it as a 3-2. Other exceptions I might consider is that if reversing War Mother's Control for whatever reason that starts to pop up, keeping Deny is probably going to be a good idea, as they're not going to do much in the early game and you have a way of guaranteeing uh, clearing their War Mother. Uh, to know that you're reversing War Mother, probably if they're playing Trindomir, it's probably War Mother, so keep the Deny, they won't be doing much in the early game. Everything else is pretty staple, um, pretty much look for the curve, not much to talk about here. Keep the Zornite, most of the time, and that's about it. Let's go out this game here. I was risking a Ash Sejuani. The game dragged out for a fair bit of time, so I'm only gonna use one game in this example. Um, it pretty much showcases everything you need to know about the decision making and what cards to play and when, roughly, and what to play around and what not to play around. 
you guys have a fantastic day i just want to say if you've been enjoying the deck guides a like is super appreciated and if you have any other additional questions uh please feel free to leave them in the comments down below i respond quite quickly you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you soon mulligan time versus uh pretty standard uh frostbite mid-range i mean we probably kick karma we probably kick will um i don't mind chomp Womp. it gives us a uh, fodder for discarding and ways of activating eye of the dragon eye of the dragon will always be a keep right incredible start for my opponent i don't think i ever stop this from happening i will play out of the dragon uh we can pass here uh, that's a pretty good pass for us jump on looks pretty good here it would be good um if he attacks, but I think it might be incorrect for him to attack here. Maybe he has Elixir of Iron and protecting his uh, Babbling Bjerg might be a priority. I do have the Mystic Shots. I can also play a Mushroom Cloud to activate uh, the Dragon. But in this position where he just passes against me, I perhaps will just pass. I may need these for fodder for discarding if we can find some rummages or something. Um, at this position, I think just playing Chumpomp feels okay. At some point, he may be um, close to playing Reckoning, but that turn is not this turn. I can also deny the Reckoning, so that's fine. I think I'm going to ping the Avrosian Hearthguard, and I'm going to ping the Omen Hawk here. I don't think I need to activate Eye of the Dragon just yet, and this will provide me some card draw, and sets up the Hearthguard to be traded into from Chump Womp. It feels okay. As funny as it would be to use Thermogenic B in this position for zero mana, I don't think it's worth it. I also could have swung there. Discarding a card's fine. If we have discarded Ezreal, that would have been a bit of a shame. I kind of lost, honestly, I lost track of my hand there, but I still don't think playing a Thermogenic Beam would have been that worth it. It's a very good card. Awkwardly enough, I can't just simply pass, which is, uh, because I don't think I can afford to discard another card. So perhaps this Mystic Shot here is okay. Fortunately enough, he doesn't have Sejuani, or choosing not to play it. I will ping off the Ice Fail Archer here. I don't think he'd use Reckoning in this kind of position. I think it's worthwhile to go for Thermo Beam. Um, it may not work, which is a bit of a shame. Yes, yeah, plenty of cards in hand, so ooh. shockingly enough, that actually worked. So I would have to assume that there's no Elixir of Iron in my opponent's hand. And as for this, this is kind of strange. He wouldn't use his Elixir of Iron to save his unit, but he may Brittle Steal me. So if I get the Brittle Steals out now, is that just kind of have to be worth? I suppose so. I think it's worth to give it a shot. Um, kind of strange, it worked. I'm a little bit shocked. That is fair enough though. I think I play Karma here. What do I get punished by? You'd have to like Brittle Steal my Karma and then Frostbite it. I think this is okay. Especially knowing that my opponent does not have cheap 5 cost units. Of course he could play... This is okay. I just The main problem is Reckoning. I'm going to swing here. I might need something to block next turn. And he could have an answer against me. That's a pretty good find. So Sejuani could come down. I wouldn't be able to stop that from killing my Karma. However, I do have Spirit's Refuge, which is kind of hilarious. However, it's not really protecting my Karma too much. Interesting. I think I go for it here. I think I just go for the block here and just to kind of chill. He'll most likely do a reaction play here. Then maybe I can decide how I want to use Spirit's Refuge. How much priority do I think I need to have on saving this Chump Womp? I guess what I will do here is I will probably just use two Mushroom Clouds to activate Deep Meditation. Play Claws of the Dragon from hand. And if he makes a play here, I can use Deny. 
Only one card draw. Not too spooky. So I do think I need to deny this. I think I do need to get the random card draw. Uh, the random spell from Karma. Now there's no answer for him to clear the Karma. I can also deep med to possibly find the next... The next, um... Denier that it is. It looks like we are in a little bit of a problem, like awkward situation here. Where if my opponent has another Assessor, or just any form of like gas, I might be in trouble. And I'll go for the deep med here. I need to thin out the deck. And Rummage. I'm going to use Static Shock here to cycle the deck, buff Ezreal, find an answer, maybe I can clear the Ash. I could probably use Rummage if I wanted to, just to thin the deck more. I've got a fair bit of answers for next turn. I think Rummage. I think we'll Rummage now. I'll be a bit better, bit better, bit, <laughs> bit better on my mana. And this is pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. But I figured I'm going to have hand issues next turn with uh, Karma's Insight plus Deep Med. Plus, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I've played two spells this turn. So, even more of a reason to just kind of cycle the deck. Um, uh, Avrosian Assessor here is going to be a bit of a problem. Mostly like, because this deck like doesn't really have efficient card draw outside of Assessor. And with a deck like this, if they get lots of card draw, it's pretty oppressive. Um, I'm happy to end here. Problem is, he can um, he can do some weird things with Ash, where he frostbites my entire board. And for me to outplay that, I need to clear the Ash now. But it's most likely not going to happen. These trades don't look very good. Nothing makes sense here. So I will pass. This is going to be a bit risky, but I think hopefully it'll be okay. Karma will be at 5 attack now. So at least Reckoning will not get us too bad. I just need to work out a way to like protect myself once he kind of open attacks. I've got Mystic Shots. So this is a Frostbite. Kind of what I was worried about. But I should have some way of staying alive here. So I'll Frostbite my uh, Ash. Okay, here comes the fun. Two cards in my opponent's hand. Nothing can block on the field. Everything's dealing twice. Okay, we have to kind of speed this up. Okay, I'm gonna go for deep med here. Now you play the burst spells so they're faster. We'll just do what keeps us alive, and then wait to see what my, what my opponent will do at that point. So as long as we are alive, that's okay. They do run Captain Farron. I also could have used Rush there, unironically. I will just pass for now. Okay, his hand is, seems to be a bit weird. I'm suspecting that there may be a Captain Farron in his hand. What I will do here is I'm going to open attack. It's a pretty threatening open attack, and I've got a few ways of tricking the board here. I've got tons of different answers here. I think... They don't really run Frostbite anymore. So something like this is going to be pretty wacky. They do run Harsh Winds though. And we have no other healing right now. I think I'll just pump up the healing as much as I can here. Even though I'm still dying to two Decimates, I can maybe find some more healing throughout my deck. And this is fine for now. So I've got this strong feeling that he has Captain Farron in hand. Yep. 
I do have health potions in my deck. So let's look for that. Okay, can't, Ezreal's hiding in our deck somewhere, which is kind of really awkward. I'm going to play Zornite here. That's pretty good. Let's play this uh, Trial Evidence. See if I can find anything that makes any difference. Two cheap units. I don't think I'll play better in an Investigator. This is kind of spooky. I can survive two Decimates, which is kind of important. So let's go ahead and use the Health Potion here. I've only got one health potion in my deck at the moment, which is a bit of a problem. I'm kind of desperate to find... I'm kind of very desperate to find Ezreal. There we go. I think I will play Ezreal now. It dies to Culling Strike, but that's all of his mana. And I, like, I'll probably draw into another one as well. I need to start getting these pings off at least. So if he has no culling strike, then at least I can get some more damage off. I'm going to pass for now. He's going to swing with Captain Farron. I forgot about the Crystal Arrow. It's not too much of a problem. I just need to keep this will up. Seems reasonable. I'm gonna use the Thermobeam this turn too to clear the babbling Bjerg. Yeah, I feel like we're in a good spot here. This is just for extra damage. I don't want to clear the sentry at all. So like he can't exactly kill me. He can't really like play Farron and then like decimate me this turn if that makes sense. First of all, I am going to open attack here. I want to get some healing and get some more Ezreal's. If he has no calling strike, we might just be winning the game here. <clears throat> Even if he clears the Ezreal, I think we might still have a lot of damage in hand. Yeah, so he goes for this. Like I think we just win now. Just a disgusting amount of damage. And that is Karma Ezreal in a nutshell. Tackling Ash Sejuani, what is meant to be one of the other popular decks right about now. This is like, it's just too strong, man.